Hey there water signs, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Now this reading is going to be um, with my um, deck Toff, Alistair Crowley. Now I'm stating this because um, the images are more for me so that I tell you what I'm channeling from um, 5D which is where Twin Flames um, contracted. So um, this is more about um, understanding. This reading will be my cards if you're new here is more about me channeling information to get you into union not just what is going on at present and um, you know that already. <laughs> so um, um, please watch if it doesn't resonate because I'm doing all water signs it doesn't resonate today because um, time is not real uh, that's another video I'm going to go into that's um, um, anyway I'm just going to state it might not resonate today it might resonate tomorrow or just because this video doesn't resonate doesn't mean my other videos won't because like I said I'm doing for the collective of all water signs so I'm going to jump straight in Going on water signs, please. Okay. I'll show the, you the cards as I uh, go along. Um, this reading I can feel already is to do with your perspective on the relationship. You need to change your look on how it is and go internally. I can pick that up already. That goes that way. But regardless. Right. Okay, let me get my things. The first card is the moon card. Let's see if I can get you, um, get it aligned. Now, I've got a new camera, so bear with me whilst I try to get it to be focused on trying to learn how to do that. There it is, but there, okay. So, well, I don't know okay i'll try to explain like i said these cards are more for me but you might be able to see because i love alistair crowley if this is the only deck i know because of um i don't know other names of decks because i only read the imagery and this states to me in this card that there's more to what's going on than what you know because the moon is all about secrets hidden things so in your relationship there's hidden because as above so below so there's a hidden energetic frequency with your person which you don't know about and this is to do with home life and I state that because of um, there's two kind of things here that look like home so your person needs to go into and I don't normally state what's going on with your person because you can't really do anything if it's about your person but um, in this reading is just for you to understand there's more to what's going on with um, your person because of um, it's deep rooted and I can say this is from um, you know generations from generations from past there's kind of some kind of um, deep rooted way of thinking from home life which is passed on through generations which is why it's say your person is living with someone else or not moving in with you or any kind of something like that that's what's going on here so like i said sorry it's bl uh, blurry but i'll get there when i know how to um hold it up correctly so that 
you can see what's going on um because like i said new right this card here this is called that that is to do i can't pronounce that this is to me is if your person has any sort of addictions or um any sort of um it's more about addictions i would say i'm picking up from this card now your person loves you and is trying to sort out their addic their addictions and i state that because these are it looks like it's drips of water and it's going into this puddle now let me explain this the colors are of this whatever this is is yellow and green now green is a love chakra and yellow is healing so your person loves you and is trying to heal their um addictive behavior or whatever they're addicted to uh, coke weed alcohol whatever it is but at the bottom of the card let me try to get that in again it's kind of blurry it's muddy it's blurry meaning that it's let me try to get the word they're trying to tell me you know like you're looking at is is their emotions are kind of um mixed up and muddy blurred they they're not and like I said, it's from deep-rooted belief systems. And can you see all these kind of um, lines? That means it's all connected. I don't know how else to say that, but it's all connected. From um, So the first two cards, <clears throat> this one is the moon. This one is like about their addictions. They're trying to sort their addictions because they love you with the colour but it's more deep rooted from the first card so they're um they're um kind of reflecting the first two cards of each other so if they're they're lying it's because of their addic addictions which either makes them lie or they're hiding it or they um say they smoke weed because of their past because of their upbringing that kind of thing so that's that one it's in and out on the focus i can't be standing there this is the eight of swords now this one you don't really need to i can't um i don't need to focus in on this but oh look it's focused when you don't really need it to but this is the eight of swords which is mean they're stuck but this card is called interference which means yet again from their past up uh, from their upbringing they don't know how to change to this twin flame dynamic and i state that because the purple is representing of the spirituality which in this this is a twin flame reading so they don't know how to get a grip on the twin flame um spirituality let's call it through their thoughts because of this interference from not just only the drugs but from their past belief systems and yet again here the, the swords are pointing down so it's like so it's it's not necessarily one sword's like they lie to you and the other sword is like they're lying to themselves and that's interfering with the whole this this is why it's not um progressing on this relationship they're trying like i said to defeat this card is called defeat they're trying to defeat this situation but can you see um on this deck there's a card called science now it's not in this reading but it's got all this kind of squiggle they're trying to defeat the mental because it's five of swords pain with these kind of droplets which is like tears but at the bottom of the card i don't know if you can see there's a change of color that's green and yellow so what they're stating is they need to heal underneath any suppressed healings then the sword will face upwards because <coughs> the previous cards the two swords are down which is they're lying to you they're lying to themselves <coughs> 
they need so this card is splitting which like i said i like this deck because they split the cards for me into two which is yet again representing of these two cards with the bottom of the deck which is they need to heal the blurry muddy situation from their past can you see here what these are these are flowers so it's like that will the flowers will bloom into the love when they defeat whatever past interference they have which is rooted and that's the science which i was saying that um where is it this card sorry the wrong way around they need to understand there's a science to this which they will get not understand by reading they will have higher consciousness or understanding because it's a deep rooted belief system from this from the first card so the first line is trying for you to understand what's going on with your person and there's more to it um, next week or maybe the end of the week i'm going to do uh, my plain i call them my main boys they're just plain playing cards they get into what exactly is their deep rooted belief systems because they have no images just lines and squiggles which i can get even more hardcore so they're stating from all that what i've just stated this card is called let me see if you can see this is the three of swords this is called um sorrow let me see if i can get it in there wow this is so drama just to get it focused in but there's nothing really you can i can say more about that oh there you go can you see it says sorrow can you see how dark and um inside the internal is of your person it's confusion it's like clouds of like they don't know it's clouded judgment that's what this is and this is the three of swords so this is why it um there's heartbreak in this situation because once again the sword is in the center of this card which states that your person needs to understand the inner truth which is in my book when if you book a reading that you don't follow old past belief systems because it's underneath this card from tradition family and stuff like that you follow your own inner and because it's so dark that's to do with smoke but or addictions but also it's like um like i said it's muddy it's blurry it's a confusion of what's right which is exactly a twin flame dynamic because your person is confused with their upbringing now once your person sorts this out so this is so far all about your person so you can't go and tell them what to do this is about you just having understanding and inner standing of what's going on with your person so you don't go and have a go at them now once they recognize that and oh no i'll say that at the end the situation will end because this is the um ten of swords because now this is called ruin in this deck this this orange in this deck represents flames which is twin flames to me this is why the situation once again is they're clarifying come on camera wow i need to research this what's going on they're clarifying with this card this is why the situation is ruined now can you see like all these kind of starry zigzags this is the science of the twin flame dynamic because of um that's kind of like your wish will come true because it stars if you align scientifically which is energetic form correctly but this is called ruin meaning it's not working with all the swords in the center is the heart which is like um there's your that your person is lying to 
um, not following their heart and I'll go the top of the card is I've got to show you that so I'm going to try to get it in can you see that's like an eye and underneath that that's balance can you see the scales right there there you go that's why I got the zoom it's drama to get it but I want to show you what I see in the cards so um because I'm like I say things and you might think where am I getting it from but I have to they channel me to pick a specific deck so I can tell you what your person needs to do which is a reflection of what you will do which I will say at the end so they're stating from this at the top of the card which is higher consciousness because higher consciousness is at the top that you need to go internal third eye and have inner knowing about like I said all the drama and everything then the situation where is it will be balanced out balance justice that's when this situation will work now it's pointing down that sword the sword could have been pointing up but it's pointing down meaning because of it's down that means that it's incorrect and the person is not going inside and balancing out this twin flame dynamic because of this is a twin flame um, with the orange and the flames that's why this is ruined that's why there's heartbreak with these three of swords here leading into that heart and like I said it's to do with belief systems with the two crosses here so you need to change that and they've even got here which I don't know if you can well that represents to me then they will become the king king and queen with the crown but they need to change this stop lying to themselves and creating heartbreak with themselves and with you this is the center card so this is what's going on with your situation then that will push the wheel forward this card is called fortune fortune is not only to do with well fortune is regarded as money but this is to do with representing with having your twin flame but once you understand how to attract your twin flame into your reality from magnetic energetic form because i state you are the battery you can then have money you're supposed to actually attract money the same it's exactly the same frequency you just have to change your put old belief systems and perspective on money to attract it it's the same way of doing it so once your person gets this and understands the inner then they will push this world forward now can you see then your star will come true you wish car wish come true and can you see what what i state about the energetic form the energetic frequency and this is like a circular motion here with um it's like that energetic form will push the relationship forward this is purple and this is blue and with the stars above as well which is higher consciousness higher knowing which will give you the guidance to have your wish come true and like i said this energetic form i don't know if you can see let me see how close up yeah can you see there's actually like emotions it's like a water of energetic form so it's like stating you emotionally change how you feel which pushes the will forward with your energetic form and then your fortune that's when it comes true so that's what they're stating so it's like end that old situation then this will happen the seven of wands in traditional decks represents defensive that will end the defensive behavior from your person but this is they're telling me it's to do with you as well because i state in my readings you lead so if your person is defensive and doing all of this you're the leader so you're the one who needs to push this forward which i will check to see what they're stating on the last line now in this card like i said seven of wands is kind of like defensive behavior but can you see that one wand in the middle that's glowing they're telling you to focus on the one wand the new passionate beginning 
the other card i love it like i said i keep i'm gonna keep saying it i love this deck because of other cards i have to split it this this crowley splits it how i like it can you see three and three and one in the middle they're not just seven in a line three means knowing what to do so when you know what to do from what i've said in the reading will re re reflect onto your person to know what to do three of wands is knowing then you both will have this one wand passionate new twin flame beginning look at it it's the color of the flame like i said this is a twin flame reading it's kind of like sparks of um flames in the background which is kind of representing to me like a uh, kind of stars which is yet again wish come true and the background is purple which is spirituality which is the inner knowing of your twin flame dynamic but all this has to happen these three cards are going to the rose this is at the base of the, the the first card so it's like stating here that there's more that you need to know about your person and what is hidden is inside it's not an energetic form of what is outside hidden is inside you this relationship is because it starts with the moon card is all about how you are inside you're doing it incorrectly which is creating heartbreak which is reflecting onto your person to do this stuff incorrectly like i said they're telling me to tell you you're the leader as i do in all my readings so you need to change your perspective and this is brilliant because this card is upside down which i said you need to change turn around your perspective this is to do with like i said past generations of belief systems with the cross you need to change and hang this person's hanging upside down you need to turn around your perspective to make your energetic form from um, higher consciousness align correctly you are running this relationship as a soulmate because this is the grid system in the background that is incorrect and like i said that is running your entire being on this card from head to toe the illuminati grid system which is in the background you can't see it is running you you need to focus and change from this cross which is the green and the sun can you see in the background this is higher consciousness you need to change your perspective and love of what you believe that's the first card here that will change this dynamic this is for the both of you but i'm stating this is for you to do because it will reflect on your person because you run the show whenever you take a reading with me i give you my book i never state now go and send that book to your person because it's about you doing it and i'm going to do my next audio i've done an audio if you're new about how the energetic form is quite deep so i'm going to give another version of how this works how this works but i've explained it in detail how from quantum physics albert einstein's how the the how it works but now i'm going to do it in a different way so you have understanding so once you change your dynamic change your perspective change you change things around change how you see things then this relationship will blossom and i'm going to tell you about this card i love i love this deck look i keep saying it but i can't help it i do look right hold on you can see anyway but there we go look can you see here like i said he splits the dip deck for me it's brilliant four here four here this is the eight of is it the eight of i presume it's the eight of pentacles you need to work hard that's what it means what a working hard is the eight of pentacles but this is four four and four on a tree which is a four of wands represents um twin flame dynamic um stability that kind of thing the four of pentacles means that you're stuck so this is a combination card of your 
you're stuck in the situation which is reflecting on your person to be stuck but if you grow it into the correct way which the um, this is to do with the root of the situation then it will blossom and once again can you see what's at the top of this card I'm going to wait for it to zoom in so you can see I'm going to like I said at the beginning I'm going to try to learn how to what the hell to do to focus in on it but third eye up above third eye and I say it's third eye because there's not two eyes what's that circle doing in the card it's not on all the cards this is about inner knowing will create the growth and like I said he spits a card you're stuck four of pentacles is stuck four here reflects on your person you need to put it together which makes you to join as a team and work hard toward this growth as one that's what he's saying so you need to go once again i stated inner knowing not external then they're repeating it let me show you what this card is ten of cups now I like this because you can see how this, think of this as your internals, it's like celebration, this looks like kind of <laughs> your brain, let's just say, with the three of cups, like I said, I love it, he splits the card for me, but can you see, it's like a beam of light on the cups, it's not dribbling of water, that he's making it clear it's energetic form these are blood vessels to me it looks like that's internal so once you align all your cups internally and think about celebration with your cups with your person then the external will because this is outside of that your energetic form will come outside into the orange and the red which is the twin flame this is how you think reflects on your inside which reflects on your outside if you do it correctly then you will be successful so he's repeating it this is oh look this is lovely oh i've just checked once again i said about that can you see four at the top of the card can you see the two butterflies this is about working towards your twin flame four of wands is um twin flame but this is six of wands which is what four of wands is the four wands in the house is like moving in like i said there's something to do with home if there's a home it's like you need to change your home perspective with the four at the top of the card can you see the the um the dots within the third eye within the butterfly so it's within you two one reflects to the other in a vision can you see the flames this is to do with the flames once you change that it comes to the six of wands which is twin flame togetherness twin flame union and it's the six which represents can you see it victory so they're making it clear what you have to do like i said my readings are not like here he is kissing you on the lips smoochy woochy it's about aligning and what you need to do inside this is what my tarot readings are about now the last card represents the first card i read them all together 
there's more to what you need to know i'm going to keep saying that because of it's hidden hidden is, is internal how the hell do you know what your person thinks and feels but you know how you think and feels which is the twin flame dynamics which he's told you in this deck how many times is there a reflection one to two one to two there's a reflection because you pull in your person what to do you need to change your dynamic and they're making it clear again you're too third dimensional why because this card in this deck is the only card i've read because i liked it let me see if you can see it i've got to show you this is is well pretty can you see that's like you're not going inside the top of the card can you see the third eye which is on top of her head which means not only is that inner that's inner guidance from above that means 5d which means twin flames it means there's a massive angel or whatever that thing is it's like she's holding a veil if you can see it's like she's throwing a veil it's like you're a veil of illusion this is what this card is about it's like you're over the veil of your forefront is a veil of illusion you need to go back inner because the veil the the guidance is behind the veil and at the top of the veil your third dimensional which i said in this grid system from the illuminati so this la last card is the high priestess which is blatantly stating inner knowing you need to focus on your in inner inner I don't know how many times i'm just going to end this by stating let me see if i can get this card up again wow so much drama with this no wonder why people don't use it but like i said i like you to see what i'm on about you might get a but this is about learning what to do to get with your union not just what you're doing who cares you know what you're doing oh your person's over here he's doing this he loves you oh that's fantastic but that's not getting you into union doing this will right let me see if i can get the focus can you see the color of the card it's kind of blue that means your veil of illusion you're not listening to your higher guides which is at the top so you're communicating which is the throat chakra which is your throat is communication into the external the third 3d third dimension into your reality which is soulmates you need to change that that's what this card is stating and it's the priestess so it's you i always state it's you i don't care the first line was about your person but you run it you change this perspective then this relationship will change to success to victory so there's two cards here with 10 it will end the nightmare 10 of swords and it's underneath the 10 of cups this is for you to change how you think about this twin flame journey. i said that at the beginning they pull me in they're doing that to me now this is a new thing telling me what the reading's about so hopefully this has been good for someone if it doesn't resonate then like i said my next one probably will but a collective of water signs is quite a lot to target but i only ask for those to be specific for the reading so that you know what to do so i'm not targeting thousands i'm targeting those that are serious that want to be in their twin flame union with their person and i can help you do that so thanks for listening and speak to you later.